Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. My name is Jennifer and if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy what I am going to be showing today. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your support. And um, so does Zuzu. Zuzu, he told me today that he was going to be a good boy. So I'll let him say hi quick. Boy. His name is Zuzu. And he is in a lot of my hauls because he does not leave me. Um, but today I have something new to post. I'm posting something new. I am joining an open collaboration called Thrifty Thursday. And this is hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. I will have everything link linked in the description. Um, so I am going to be showing you a, a collective thrifty haul. Um, but I just wanted to show all the good things that I found because I was very excited. All, some of the things I also purchased from thriftbooks.com. All the links uh, that I can post in the description, I will. So I will get started. Um, I'm going to start with music. So um, I don't know if I haven't really mentioned this on my channel just because I, I'm new. Uh, that I do love junk journaling. Um, you won't hear me mention a lot in my hauls that I've purchased things for junk journaling. And these items that I purchased at the thrift store are all for my junk journals. So this is music. I um, actually ran out of um, music paper. I was actually using my old piano books when I was in piano um, as a teenager, I that's the paper that I've been using. So I've never owned any vintage um, uh, music paper. I I just coffee dye mine, and there's my vintage my vintage music paper. So I was very thrilled to come across all these um, vintage music books. So I'm going to start off with this one. This one is says Song Time Five, and it looks like a series it's from Russell McDowell and the year and oh yeah I found this in here this was like a clipping of some sort I tried to put it together oh the tape yes this I just don't understand why they cut off her face this is looks like a doll but anyhow it's cool cool ephemera in the in the book so this they the year of this book copyright is 1964 and I could not pass this up I wish I hope I could find the other um the, the, the rest of the collection because these music sheets or music book this music book is absolutely adorable I love the images the vintage colors like look this little girl the little ballerina oh my goodness this they're just this book is just absolutely adorable so i'm not going to keep going on and on about this book because i could go through every page and probably point out something i love on every page but this is this one i also found this manuscript um this what's nice about this is there's it's it's empty there's a few um, pages at the beginning that have been written on, but the majority of the book is empty. I've never found anything like this before, so that is nice. And, and the, the year on this, I just was reading what it said. I don't think there will be a year. Well, this up here, there's a. It says 19. It says 1974, 75. Sorry. So, well, that was pretty cool. I got this one. This was a violin book. And the copyright on this one is... I thought it was the Copyright is 
it probably is here. I'm just not seeing it. But anyways, I really liked the um, the look of the music in this. So, like I said, this is violin. So nice music paper. I got this one, Vocal Selection from West Side Stories. This, the copyright for this one is, oh, what's this? Oh, this is me. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I have gotten into some of these books already. 19, I know this one has for sure a copyright. I'm sorry guys, I should have been more prepared. This is my first time doing this Thrifty Thursday video. And I'm not going to lie, but I'm a little nervous. Um, I could have sworn. Maybe not, because it says copyright secured. So maybe... Okay, well, I thought there was dates on all. I thought I'd seen in the store the dates on all of them. But anyways, this is another one I found. Um, I'm going to try to speed this up. I'm already at six minutes and I'm just with the music. So I'm sorry, I keep rambling. So this is 1961. And look at how, look at, I love the tape. Look at how vintage this book is. Like, wow. I love the color of the pages I don't have to do anything to this it doesn't I'm as I'm viewing it through the camera it does not look as vintage as it is this is actually really dark and I don't know why it's coming up really light but like if I could put it against something white it's very very aged nicely so picked up that oh that's Toronto Ontario oh that's cool um, I picked up this one. This one, I'm definitely going to be coffee dyeing because they are white. But I love the size of these music sheets and the look. And anyways, the coffee, 1969. So this is an organ, organ book. So very happy to find that. Um, this is another organ music book. And this one, the copyright is, okay, so I have to say, okay, 1969. These ones are fairly large. This one's fairly large, and that's what I liked about it. This one, I can easily um, fold in half this way and use it as a page. Well, all of them, I can do that, but the ones that are smaller, like actual paper size, like this for example oh I'm sorry I knocked the camera so for example this size this is almost the same size as a uh, as a eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper so if I were using this in a journal um, I would tape them together and I don't know why I'm showing this paper I'm just trying to show that it's the same size I would tape them together or mask tape them together and I would put them in the I would have to trim it obviously because it, it is bigger than the journal and I would be able to have full sheets of music in my journal instead of when you when you use the larger sheets you have to fold them this way I'm just gonna rip one out and show you because I'm gonna rip these out so this one if I were to use this in my journal I would fold it this way and put it in the journal like this. This one, I would rip out two sheets. I don't want to rip them out because I just, I don't want to do that <laughs> with this book. Um, like I said, mask and tape it together, trim it down and use it as two pages. So like it could be a full page in a journal. I hope, I hope this makes sense. Um, anyway, so this one again is also large and this sing one more time with Jack P Piercy. Um, this one was really cute. N 1981. I really loved the um, the images in this one as well. The color of the pages, and I like that there are music 
and um, I know there's a name for this, but manuscript, plain manuscript music. I don't know. Anyways, that's what I like about this one. So I'm pretty good for music papers for a while. Um, I picked up these two books. This one's it says our Christmas book, and copyright of this book is. nineteen eighty seven and if there is information that I haven't said about a book that you are interested in please leave a comment and I will answer your question um like I said I'm nervous right now and I'm I know I'm skipping things that I should be saying and oh there's a oh this is cool an envelope in the back that I could use this is really neat I didn't even know that but anyways the book this is music as well but there are plenty of blank pages so this obviously will be used for a christmas journal there's poems in here music i loved this i can cut this out and use it as a border but like how beautiful like look at this image look at these images i just absolutely fell in love with this book too So, to be honest, I haven't went through this book uh, just in the store real quick, and I didn't know there was all those foldouts. This, oh, I love it. I got this To My Daughter With Love, a mother's memory book from Donna Green. Copyright of this book is nine, no, 1993. So this book um, is in very good condition, very, very good condition. Um, and as you, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I have a daughter. Uh, so I don't know, I don't think I'll be able to cut this one up because it's just too precious. However, the images in this book, I just, I, oh my gosh, like they are beautiful. beautiful like oh my goodness the ballerinas my daughter was in dan is in is a dancer so ugh, i can't i know I, I i can't like i can't rip this i cannot as much as i want to use these images in journals because they would be absolutely beautiful i am definitely not gonna be able to cut this up i will probably give this well i will give this to my daughter and we can fill this out together or something she can fill out but I just love this book so picked up that um so I ordered a couple books from thrift um thriftbooks.com I believe I believe the books that I will be showing are from thriftbooks.com but I might be wrong and if I am I will I will link the books that I can in the description that I have purchase from thriftbooks.com so a victorian flower album book of days i've been wanting this book for a long time i actually have already cut took the book apart but i do want to show you so this copyright date is 1992 but the uh the pages are already all aged the book is meant to look aged and these will definitely be going in journals but i've already i've already taken out the signatures and um, so I'll just flip through some of the images real quick beautiful flower images like I've mentioned many times I love 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 flowers so anything flower I can't help myself sometimes if if they're beautiful and most of the time they are so very beautiful images so this is a smaller book compared to my hand this is the size of it so i love different size um books to put in my junk journals this is a very old book this is another one i've been looking to purchase for a long time this is flowers a guide to familiar american wildflowers and yes see this says thrift book so i know i got that from there like this book literally is falling apart Copyright date is 
1950. So when I first received it, I opened it and it split here like it's already falling apart, which is fine with me. I will be using these in junk journals anyway, so it makes me feel a little better that I'm saving this book. Um, beautiful, beautiful flower images. I can fussy cut these out if I want. I can just use them as a cut here and use this as a journal card, back, back it on some cardstock, and I can also cut this out and use this as the pocket and put this image as the journal card inside this pocket. It, like reinforce that as well beautiful images in here look at that one I, I like this book I'm so happy I finally got it so that's that one I also purchased this in thrift book so this one's wildflowers of North America and I was very pleased to receive this with a homemade bookmark that somebody made i thought this was absolutely precious i couldn't believe it so it's a laminated flower and they put a piece of ribbon in there and i like how they put just a little piece of leaf here um to blend it in just so to make it not just a, a flower with just the stem sticking out so this was inside the book so that put an instant smile on my face. I was happy about that. So back to the wildflower book. This is 1992. So not that old, but well, it still is considered vintage, but I will be fussy cutting these in flower images out. And I purchased this book. Oh, this one. This one, I believe, is from Amazon. I, I'm sorry I didn't mention that, but this one, I believe, I purchased on Amazon. In this book, I actually purchased this after watching um, her channel used to be called I'm a Cool Mom, but she is now Paper Terrace. And she um, she showed this book, and when, when she showed it, I, I, I needed to order it. I loved it. So this one's 100 Flowers and How They Got Their Names. Um, from Diana Wells and the copyright of this book is 1997 but this book is I love this book. I've already started I started reading this book because like I said I love flowers um, so uh, this one I'm not sure I'll be able to cut up either but it says all the history of each flower so you just look in the index which flower you want and most of them are in well there's a hundred in here so and it it just tells you the history of each flower and they're very interesting because the some of the uh flowers that i've been reading about very interesting facts and um information about the flowers so i picked up that book so I guess I lied. I said I was going to be using most of these things for junk, all of these things for junk journaling, but some of them aren't. The Complete Handbook of Garden Plants from Michael Wright. This one, I believe I, I seen on either Treasure Books or no, it was Taddy Treasure. Tatter, Taddy Treasure, I think. I forget her, her channel, but I will link it down below. Um, I love her channel as well, and this was cute to be, oh, I just ripped it off, but that's okay. This was in here, a nice little letter for whoever gave this book. And this one, I'm sorry, I should have cleaned this up a bit, but I've already been fussy cutting images from here, so a lot of it's taken apart, but um, I, I needed to show this because the images in here are beautiful as well. Like, imagine just this page in a junk journal. How beautiful are these images? So, some of them I will be using as, in, like, to, like, I fussy cut this one. Some of them, some of the pages will be used to fussy cut the images from, and some of them I will be using as full pages in junk journals. So, that's that book. Uh, 
this one was from Thrift Books, the Concisest Illustration of Roses. This is from Beatrix Hamilton, and copyright of this book is 1993. Again, beautiful images. There are realistic pictures of the flower and paintings. So that's what got me with this book. These as well I could use as pages in my junk journals or cut these out, use these as journal cards, pockets, tucks, envelopes, well mini. I can fussy cut the, the image and glue it on an envelope to embellish it. Very pretty book. And I also found this um, Hometown Ideals book. This copyright date is 1960. So I love these ideal books. Pages are very vintage. And I just like the feel of the pages. They're very thick. Thick pages. Not cardstock, but... A lot thicker than just normal computer paper. Oh, look at this. I didn't see this. Oh my goodness. Like, look at that. Look at this picture. This whole page. Just absolutely beautiful. I love vintage um, photos. Just, I absolutely love it. Oh, I don't know if I can cut this book up either now. How precious is that? There's poems. Just absolutely beautiful pictures in here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at her. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Oh man. bird, that bird, with the poem, that would look beautiful in a junk journal, if I can, but oh my goodness, I love these books, I also got, oh sorry, I forgot to show this one, I'll show this one next, um, Glowing Plants by Alan Peterson, illustrated by Elsie Wrigley, and this one is copyrighted 1977, Beautiful flower images. If you hear something in the back, that was my dog. <clears throat> I love this. Beautiful colors. So this book, I definitely know that I have I seen this book from this is her channel. Why can I not think of her channel? The Victoria Flower Album by Henry Terry. The name, the, the year right here that somebody wrote. It's 1983. But the copyright book of this, of this book is, copyright date is. It says collected and painted in the summer evenings of 1873. But I don't, that's not the copyright. The copyright is 1978. And this book is absolutely beautiful. I know I've said that a lot, but I think this is my favorite um, of all. This is a beautiful book, and I you'd expect me to say I won't be able to cut into this, but I specifically purchased this for um, junk journals. I knew before receiving it that I was going to be using these. I can't not be like, look at this. And I love the size of these pages. Like I've mentioned before, these are good size to even just use the one, fold it, and at least you still see the image. Or I could, like I said, if and they are sewn in, so I will be able to take this full page out. It'll be connected. And I can put it in a journal, and I can you, um, fold these in so they could be fold-outs in the journal instead of cutting off the images. 
or I can make them tucks depending on what page I'm using. Like for example, this one, this one I can make as a tuck so you can see this image. And then on this side, you'll still get that. As, a, as opposed to this one, this one's long, so I wouldn't, um, well, I could fold it like this and use that, but, and have, have that side, but do you know what, you know what I mean? I love the size of the, these pages, because there's a lot of opportunity here. Oh, look at this. I love this book. I, I've been wanting this for a really, really long time. Is already 26 minutes oh my goodness okay you know what I don't think I'm gonna keep going because I'll show one last thing and then because I, I know a lot of people don't like long videos and I don't want to bore uh bore you guys and since this is my first thrift video usually I post walkthroughs and hauls I am I, I can't make this too long so I was pleased to find this Betty Crocker um recipe uh card library actually this because because these things aren't new i've had them for a little uh, for quite uh well a little bit of time anyways this actually my mark my husband's aunt was selling this at her yard sale and i stopped by and i seen it and i'm like oh my goodness you have one of these and she said yeah i'm like oh, i'll buy it she says just take it so no uh hesitation there i i took it i offered her but she said nope so I got a full box of Betty Crocker recipe cards and like there's everything in here like sh there's even still the index book there's everything and the year on these cards are 1971 and I love them love 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 them i have not i've this is my first time owning any betty crocker recipe cards so definitely will be using these in journals um i don't think i'll be using all of these but um if there's anybody watching that um may be interested in in um receiving some of these cards um i do not mind sending some out in the mail i'm sure they can i can fit if a good few in a envelope and it not um, costing an arm and a leg but I do not mind sharing so if you're watching this and you um, are interested in receiving some of these Betty Crocker recipe cards let me know in the comments and uh, I just love them I'm so happy this like I've never I've never owned any recipe cards Betty Crocker recipe cards, any re any vintage recipe cards so, anyways, very happy about that. Tons in here. Tons, tons, tons. So, ooh, I'm sorry. That must have been really loud. Okay, so I'm going to end my video here. I'm really sorry. Um, again, I know I'm rusty at this YouTube video stuff. Uh, I've only been doing this for a few months. And let me tell you, every time that I know I need, well, every time I try to film a video, it's, I don't film it just once. It's usually at least two or three times because I fumble over my words or I get distracted or uh, anyway, something happens and um, I don't know. I'm just, I will have to get used to it. I'm still at the point where I'm thinking, have to overthink things and I'm rambling again and I'm sorry. Uh, I do hope that you enjoyed my um, thrifty video and like I said, I will um link sherry's channel turquoise dreaming she is the host of this um this collaboration thank you so much for watching again bye bye